Welcome back, this is chapter 3 on the iLevel AP tutorial or installation tutorial. This is my dad Ruben and this is Ananda Leon. And on this chapter we're going to be discussing trim tab responsiveness. We discussed trim, trim tab installation on the previous episode. So now we're going to be testing in flight what the responsiveness is if you need to resize the trim tabs or not and we're going to be talking about servo direction configuration again this is for the new eye level ap it's a trim tab based autopilot for experimental airplanes and light sports um, basically one trim tab on one aileron one trip tab on the elevator and I'm saying this because I get a question uh, a lot. We get a question about V-tails. Can we install this on a V-tail airplane? This is a very interesting question. Uh, we have never installed on a V-tail this trim tab autopilot. But we can say that if on a V-tail, we will have to use two trim tabs rather than one. Okay. So that when the trim tabs move up or down, it'll move the elevator both surfaces at the same time. This way the, the, the up will be up and it's not going to be a left kick or a right kick if you do only one. So all you have to do is balance the two surfaces with trim tabs, so you will have to use two trim tabs. And how is the connection look like? You've split? Oh, the you just uh, split the signal to the two servos that they both do going to do the same thing. They're going to move up. They both has to move up at the same time. So they put to put the same force on, on the on the tail okay. and that way it will move the tail up and down as it should be. Okay. Yeah. I must say we have never tested this before. Oh, no, this is just it, theory. <laughs> so, so, so. it might be interesting if you have a, a V-tail aircraft and you want to try this system, give us a call and, and we can maybe test flight one. We do a better tester. Yeah. <laughs> OK, so continuing. No, no, there's the other question, the, the, the flap around question. Uh -huh. Flap around question is the flap and the aileron now being both used at the same time. But the flap, had all, all it's doing is moving the ailerons down to some position, but the, the ailerons still move. So on the flap around, the servo should do just as well as with a normal aileron. Okay. Again, we haven't tested it yet, but the, the physics says that, that you, sh you should be able to install one trim tab on one aileron, and that should be enough. So now we can continue. Okay. <laughs> so um, we explain about the trim tab. We have our location, we have our size, and now we need to tell the, we need to configure it, our I level AP, for the servo direction. Because what if I, I Ananda, installed it on my left aileron, but you, Ruben, installed it on your right aileron? The servo direction changes, right? Yes. So we need to tell that to the eye level exactly. so that it knows your configuration. So we're going to go um, ahead. You will need to download the eye level aviation app from the app store. Um, you would need to have your trim tab installed yes. and your eye level installed. Yes. And that's it. So teach me how to configure my servo direction. Okay, it should be fairly simple. <laughs> I, we do this on the ground. I, I think it's uh, harder to explain it than it has to do it, but okay. well, let, me, let me try to explain it. It's, it's a very simple process. All we have to do is tell the eye level is if it's positive or negative. So you have a 50-50 chance to get it right <laughs> <laughs> or get it wrong. Okay. So all we have to find out what is positive and what is negative uh, on the eye level. And, and all it is is we have to explain a little bit of in the aerodynamics of the trim tab movement. Okay. So the first thing we're going to say is if you move the trim tab, let's say up, this will be up. The aileron will go down because it's going to create a, a vacuum 
under the aileron, the, the, the faster moving surface of the air will create a, a low pressure. So the aileron will go down, making the wing section go up. Okay. So it's safe to say, if the trim tab goes up, the wing goes up. That wing where that is installed. Well, well that, 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 the, the whole thing, the airplane wing. If, if this is installed on the right size, and this one goes up, then I'm gonna roll to the left. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So, so it is, this is very important, and, and, and vice versa. If you are on the left and you go up, the wind go up and you will go right. Okay. So, this is very simple, I hope. <laughs> okay. on, on the tail, on the tail of, of the elevator, let's, let's go through the exercise. If you go up, the tail will go up because the, the elevator will go down. So the tail goes up, the airplane goes down. This is on a, on a, on a, on a tail airplane. If you have a canard, it's totally the opposite. Uh -huh. if, if on a canard airplane, you go up on the, on the trim tab, the surface goes down, and the tail uh, and, and the front of the airplane goes up, so you will go up. Okay. It's, 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 <laughs> it's backwards, but as long as as you get this, if the trim tie goes up, that section of the airplane will go up, and if it goes down, it will go down. Makes it simpler to follow because it's confusing. Yes. <laughs> okay, so on the app, basically, I'm gonna go to menu and I'm gonna go to autopilot and I have my autopilot interface and I have this trim section here. Okay. Okay. So when I tap on that, I have left and right up and down. Let's teach me how to uh, configure my left and right. Well, since I was Roman, you stole in the wrong side of the airplane, but <laughs> you stole, I just stole on the, on the right side. <laughs> Let, let's follow this. This RV has the trim tab on the right. Okay. Okay. Let, let's let's follow this um, idea. Okay, we do have. So on on the trim controls, if I trim right, I'm gonna click right, 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 okay, right, right. Okay, you, right, you right. will click right a lot here, and you will see the trim tab moving down. Uh huh. You because can, you can may, maybe I have it connected here. If you like trim trim on this one. Okay. Uh, let's trim. We'll si simulate like if we were on the airplane. Okay. Uh, go ahead, trim trim right a lot. See, see how this one is going down? Uh -huh. So mm. I'm trimming right. You're trimming right. This, this one is going down, down. Which means that my The wing right will wing go down, down. Which is correct. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a 50% right <laughs> the first time. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's say now this is my left aileron. Okay. So this is your airplane. Don't mind. You stole it on the left side. Actually, the left side is better because you have on the pilot side, you can see how your trim tab is working. Uh, so I, 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 I'd rather have it on the left side and on the right side, but you can install it anywhere. Okay. Uh, so, so let's say I follow your recommendations. I install my trim tab on my left aileron. Exactly. And I trim right. Okay, you trim right. And it's going down. Down, so the wing goes down. So it's back. Meaning it's gonna go left and you're trimming right. Mm -hmm. So it is backwards. So now we have to tell the eye level, hey, this is backwards. Uh, we don't wanna fly like this because the airplane becomes unstable. So what we do is we go to the app, we, we're, we're on the trim tap, and we go into a little wheel on top here and we click the little wheel and we go into the configuration window. Okay. Very simple. And I see roll servo direction and pitch servo direction. Okay, so we have the, the direction already set up for us. So all you have to do now is say, this is not normal. If it says normal here, it should be reverse. reverse. And just, if it says reverse and I need to swap it, I yeah, put just, just click, yeah. So I'm gonna click reverse. reverse. Now it says reverse. Okay. And then if I go back to my trim, and I trim right, it should go up. Okay, up. yes, yeah. See, see, see how, yeah. how now it's left. Yes. Uh, the, the, the eye level says, okay, this is being trimmed to the other side. So I'm trimming right and my your, trim tab is Your trim going tab up. is going up. So my left wing is gonna go up 
and exactly and so you will go right okay once i set my my aileron direction let's go to the pitch the, we'll do the pitch also okay let's say this is your elevator okay so now i'm gonna change the plug here to the elevator and okay now we are on the elevator so so elevator if i pitch up this thing well, is it's, moving up it's moving up okay okay up. what happens if you move up and you have a tail surface like this <laughs> the tail goes uh -huh. up uh -huh. what happens to the nose when the tail goes up it's you look at the at the at the earth <laughs> so at the planet it's backwards it is backwards yeah because i'm pitching up but the yeah. trim is going up yes. so i'm gonna go top right uh, again, configuration, to configuration and i'm gonna uh, configure the to the normal direction i'm gonna go back to my trim window and if I pitch up, now my mm. trim goes down, goes down, which means my tail, tail goes down, go which down. means my nose goes up, exactly. and I'm trimming up. Exactly. Okay. That's it. Fair, fair listen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Servo configuration done. After I configure my servo direction, now I am ready to test the responsiveness of my trim tabs yes. right i install my trim tabs following the guidelines i follow the servo direction instructions and now i'm able to fly yes but we recommend it's not necessary to do it but we recommend that you don't even use the eye level we're just going to apply a direct command to the trim tabs to see how it responds. Can you walk through that process? Yes. Well, the, we, we have to determine, actually, if the autopilot has enough power to fly the airplane, if it's not too much power. Uh, so what we want to do now is we go fly, make sure the trim tap is neutral. Usually, you do it by, by just turning off the, the autopilot or just disconnecting. And, uh, and what I'd like to do is I am a little this is a, a little servo simulator. Okay. This is a servo simulator for remote control. So so when you when you move, the servo moves. So you can go ahead and connect your servo trim tab, autopilot tab, and connect it to this device, which will simulate the movement of the servo. Where do you get that device? Oh, I bought it on Amazon for like $15 or something like this. Okay. I, I like to put it on the website and... Uh, and uh, we'll put it on the on the description on the video. Yes, and... and uh, we have two options. You can use this. You, you can use it or you can use the autopilot also. But you, we also have a little screen that you can use it for... You can do also use does that. That, that does, does the same thing. So, so, but you can use the autopilot using the iPad as a trim tab. So you move your trim tab. The idea is when you do the, the surface movement, the, the trim tab movement, that the airplane responds with enough force to fly the airplane. Okay. At, at that cruising speed, you should fly at cruising speed. If you fly at approach speed, you may not have a, enough authority. Okay. It, it, that, that will depend on what you want to do with the autopilot. But at cruising speed, you put that, and then you can move your trim surface using this, using the autopilot, or using uh, the the little thing. So so you can see, you see, see if, if I move this, you see how it moves? Uh -huh. So, so you can fly your airplane with this, actually. And, <laughs> and you can see, okay, I'm gonna fly my airplane. So you go, woo. You can also use a receiver from remote control receiver. Uh -huh. Put the receiver and put the transmitter in your hand and you can fly your airplane. <laughs> Just like you're flying your remote control airplane. You should have enough authority to fly the airplane on cruising speed with this. Okay. And it's just to move this. Okay. No. I mean, this is, it just follows a remote control um, plane concept. It's the same thing. It's so we're same, basically, yes. yes. Yeah. So, so moving this will move, a remote control will move. 
the, uh, the eye level will move with the trim tabs. It's just a little bit slower. You can click, 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 so slowly move. But they all will work. The idea is you have to determine is the trim tab big enough or too big or too small. Okay. And, and once you determine, okay, it is correct, it flies. Okay, connect your... Now we're, then we're ready to test autopilot. Exactly. Yes. Okay. But now we have to tune the autopilot. It's not that simple. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that on the next episode. Okay. Um, I think we'll, we explained a lot. <laughs> we confused, hopefully we didn't confuse you too much. And again, if you have any questions, contact us at info at level.com and, and we'll be glad to answer any questions regarding the autopilot. <laughs>